hello students I'm going to show you uh, a process that you might need to use for your assignment so what I have here is some um, two straight line functions one's just here and one just there and what I'd like to do is to create a third function that actually connected those two graphs together at their endpoints and reached a maximum height of 6. So in other words, I'd like to find the equation of a function that looks something like that. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put the graph in the upper left-hand corner so I have space to write. So what I'm going to do, the easiest way to do this one is to say, well, I'm trying to find this function. But what I'm going to do first is find the same function but down on the x-axis because I know how to find the equation of a line if I know uh, the two zeros. So what I can say in this case is it's going to have the equation of the form y equals some number. I don't know how much it's been stretched vertically. So a stands for the amount of vertical stretch away from the x-axis. That I don't know yet. But because 2 is a 0, one of the factors of this equation is x take 2, and the other factor of this equation is x take 6. Okay, so what I have to do now is find what a is. Now, I've got x and y in the equation, but I happen to know another point on that graph, which is x is 4, y is 1. So I can just write 1 equals a brackets 4 take 2, so all I'm doing is substituting, and 4 take 6. 1 equals a, 4 take 2 is 2, 4 take 6 is negative 2, 2 by negative 2 is negative 4, and divide both sides by negative 4, and I get a equals negative 1 quarter. So therefore, I now know the equation of that graph, which is y equals negative 1 quarter brackets x take 2 x take 6. Okay, now that's the equation of that one, but now I've got to lift that entire graph up 5 units. So that means I've got to then add 5 on the end of it. And I reckon that particular equation will give us that graph. Let's go find out if it actually works by going off to Desmos. Okay, so there's the two equations already typed in. I'm just going to add a third one. So it's just going to be y equals negative 1 quarter brackets x take 2 brackets x take 6. Oops, I missed my equal sign. I was wondering where my graph was. That's a bit better. That's looking pretty good down there. Now I've got to add 5 to that to bring it up. And it's looking good. I just need to add in the domain. So, oops, I want curly brackets, negative 2, less than x, less than 6, curly brackets. Oh, not negative 2. 2, less than x, less than 6. And there's our graph just in there. Okay, let's go back to our flip chart. And that is correct. So we can stop at this point.